This video is about the overhauling of the main engine exhaust bulb. Remove the exhaust bulb spindle guide. Remove the spindle guide lifting tool. Remove the ceiling ring. Remove the O-ring. Clean thoroughly the spindle guide and check the oil hole not clog up. Replace with the new ceiling ring and O-ring. Replace with new O-ring and apply with a small amount of grease. Assemble the exhaust spindle guide into the exhaust bulb housing. Tighten the screw properly. Replace the air piston with the new ceiling ring. Our first measurement is the bulb seat G3. The bulb seat G3 measurement is always to be kept at 1 mm. And the new measurement is 0.9. So this is the measurement for the G3. And the next measurement is the G2. The new bulb set, the standard measurement is 2.3 mm. And the maximum grind is 0 mm. And our new measurement is 2.2. So this is the measurement of the G2 about 2.2 mm. Next measurement is D3 D3 standard measurement is 235 mm and our new measurement is 235 mm and this is the measurement of the D3 The next measurement is the D4 the D4 standard measurement is 255.5 mm and our new measurement is 255.5 mm and this is the measurement of the D4. Next measurement is the bulb spindle. On the spindle guide, we have to measure about 235 mm and 345 mm. And this is between the sliding surface of the ceiling ring during the operation. So the measurement is we have A, B, C, D, and A. On the sliding surface, put mark A, B, C, D, and A for the measurement. So this is the mark of A, B, C, D, and A on the sliding surface. And this is our new measurement, 59.8, 59.8, 59.6, 59.6, .8, and 59.6. This is our measurement for the sliding surface, we have 235 and 345 continue the measurement of the bulb spindle our next measurement is the letter H the letter H standard measurement is 31 mm and our new measurement is 29.6 mm so this is the measurement of bulb spindle letter H. 
Next measurement is G1. G1's maximum ground is 2mm. And our new measurement is about 0.25mm. And this is the measurement of the bulb spindle G1. Next measurement is D1. The D1 standard is 232.5 mm. And our new measurement is 232.5 mm. And this is the bulb spindle D1 measurement. Our next measurement is D2. The D2 standard measurement is 285 mm. And our new measurement is 285 mm. And this is the bulb spindle D2 measurement. The next measurement is F1. The F1, the maximum borne away is about 8 mm. And use this standard tools. And our new measurement is 1.8 mm by using the standard tools. And this is the measurement of the bulb spindle F1. Our next measurement is the bulb spindle F and Bus G. Bulb spindle F standard is 60 minus 0 0.03 mm. And our measurement is 59.7 mm. And this is the bulb spindle letter F measurement. Our next measurement is bus G. The bus G standard measurement is 60 plus 0 0.26 and our new measurement is 60.9 mm. And this is the bus G measurement. Our next measurement is the exhaust bulb driving piston. So we have to measure the piston ring of the fray gaps the rate, the thickness, and the piston ring groove. And the pre gaff standard is 11 mm, and our new measurement is 11.06. The freight standard is 2.5, and the new measurement 2.45. The thickness the standard 3.1, and the new 2.97, and the Group is 2.5 and the new is 2.5 mm. Remove the piston ring from the driving piston and put a mark as identification for number 1 or number 2 piston ring. Measure the piston ring and record the result. And this is for the free gap measurement of the piston ring. Assemble the piston ring and check the mark on the top position. Apply with a small amount of the cylinder oil and assemble the piston assembly. Install the locking plate. Assemble the bulb seat into the exhaust bulb housing. Mount the two pieces stop screw on the bulb seat. Tighten the stop screw properly. Assemble the bulb spindle into the exhaust bulb housing.
mount the air cylinder. Remove the exhaust valve safety valve and check for the opening pressure. Clean and check the safety valve components condition. Assemble the safety bulb into the testing device. Tighten properly the safety bulb. Mount the hydraulic hose. Start pumping for the opening pressure test of the safety valve. Check the safety valve opening pressure as per instruction manual. And as for exhaust valve data, the safety valve opening pressure is about 2.3 MPA. Remove the safety valve from the testing device. Assemble the safety valve into the exhaust valve air cylinder. Tighten the safety bulb with the desired tightening torque. Put cylinder oil inside the air cylinder about 1 liter. Mount the air piston into the air cylinder. Push downward the air piston until the free gap of the cone. Mount the two pieces cone. Mount the control air pipe on the air cylinder and tighten properly. Apply with compressed air to move up the air piston and secure the cone. Remove the guide tool. Mount the disc. Mount the disc screw and tighten properly. Remove and replace with the new O-ring. Assemble the actuator and fix the nut and tighten properly with the desired tightening torque. After the overhauling of the exhaust valve, we have to carry out the opening and closing 
of the bulb spindle.